incredible. And if we want to get a grip of it, we need to appreciate what the issues are. In this fourth republic, the conduct of our leaders and generally the elites, what we loosely call the political class, they come into office, they go, you know, and it's not just the politicians, it's a number of people also surrounding them. Their conduct is such that they have constituted a predatory elite. And what that means is that we have come to believe, many people, that these people have no intention to serve. They come into government and they occupy offices to better themselves. Uh, I don't want to go into details about certain people, but many of them cannot afford the kind of lifestyle that they demand when they are in office. And you consistently see this happen, which is why the public have lost confidence that these are people who are here to serve. They basically do things which exclude them from our common plight as a people. So they buy four V8s and then they can go over the portholes and government pays for some of them to have generator sets so they can you know avoid the doomsday that we all have to go through you know they have boreholes and polytanks so they can do you know without Ghana water and sewage their children are in school so the public system doesn't you know bother them at all and that is worrying so even if there is good intention for some of these things immediately people's minds go to the fact that we have had over 20 years of a predatory elite who does not seem to care and that is a clear and present danger to this, our democracy. You spoke about parliamentarians, and I think that they come into the shot because they are not helping. Indeed, parliament's supposed to be the bulwark against the executive's excesses. So this is where they should have, you know, managed to, you know, pass legislation or do certain things to cut back on some of these things and restore confidence in governance. But you have people in parliament who have taken S. Gratia four times, every four years get a four by four, and all those things going on, Okay, we have a situation where I, I have a lot of respect for you know members of the Council of State on a personal level, but I have a doubt as to the usefulness of that institution because of the cost and benefit issues concerning them and vis-a-vis -vis what they do for the state. Okay, we pay Council of State members more than we pay most doctors. We pay them more than we pay all teachers. All right, and if we are a poor country, let us all be a poor country. But if we can do this, then let us do it across board. I'm saying that. The cry you are hearing from the public is coming from these sentiments. The sentiment that on one level, we pretend we're a poor country and we cannot do certain things. On another level, we live like Arabian kings and buy $150,000 cars for people who don't have a clear definition of their job every four years, all right? And this is not the only thing that we do for them. So we need to take a very hard look. And I'm speaking about the predatory elite because this is what has caused everyone of the upheavals that we've had in our country, where people believe that those in power don't care about the rest of us. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and click on that bell icon and get notified every time we share something new. You know we always share something new. Stay consistent.